Step three of the reproduction of a plant is once the plant is fertilized, the seeds begin to grow. And the seeds are usually encapsulated by some fruit, a tomato, an apple, an orange, a banana, you know, things like that. And the flower disappears and the fruit begins to swell. Now, different plants have different methods of seed dispersal. The goal of a plant is to spread their seeds as far away as possible. And they want those seeds to go away to a better place to grow. So they can do this a uh, number of ways. Uh, some seeds are carried by the wind, uh, dandelions. There are those yellow flowers that turn with the white fluffy parts and the wind blows and carries them away. Uh, some seeds fall into the water like a coconut. Uh, coconut seeds are meant to fall into the water and be carried miles and miles around the ocean until they land somewhere where the coconut can begin to grow. Um, and a very uh, popular way of seed dispersal is with the use of animals. Uh, if you've ever had hitchhikers on your shoes or your pants, those little tiny green seeds, they get stuck. And that's actually an adaptation for the plants to move their seeds from one place to another. When you or an animal like a deer or a rabbit walk through that field and those little hitchhikers stick to your, your pants or a rabbit's leg and it the rabbit or you walk off and the seed falls off, that's seed dispersal. So plants want to have their seeds move away. They can do that from the wind, they can do that from water, they can do that from animals. And another way, uh, if you've ever wondered why fruit is so uh, tasty, it's because the plant has actually evolved that adaptation because when animals eat fruit, when the fruit comes out the other end, the seeds come out as well and they're sitting in a big pile of fertilizer away from the, the parent plant.